Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time, once summed up his life in one simple sentence during a 2016 interview with Rubenstein. He said, My life has been a product of compound interest. Think about that for a moment. The secret to his incredible wealth isn't some complicated strategy or insider knowledge. It's the power of compounding, especially how compounding works with the 60-30-10 rule, and it's something you can start leveraging right now no matter how much or how little you have to invest. Imagine watching your money grow over time, not just by the amount you save, but by the interest your savings earn and then the interest on that interest. It's like a multiplying effect that can turn small, consistent investments into significant wealth over time. In this video, we're going to show you how you can use the 60, 30, 10 rule to harness this incredible power of compounding and grow your wealth over time. It's simpler than you might think, and even if you're starting with a small amount, sticking to this rule can lead to impressive financial growth. In fact, many rich people we know today started from zero, and you can do it too. We'll break down the, these rules and show you exactly how compounding works within this framework. So subscribe to the channel, and let's get started to see how you can take control of your financial future. All right. Let's start by understanding how compounding works with the 60-30-10 from a simple example. Let's suppose you invest $1,000 at an interest rate of 5%. After the first year, you earn $50 in interest. In the second year, you don't just earn interest on the original $1,000. You earn interest on $1,050. In the second year, you earn interest on $1,050 giving you $1,102.50 by the end of that year. This keeps going, and over time, the growth accelerates, turning small amounts into significant wealth. That's the power of compounding. Your money starts making money, and then that money makes even more money. It's the secret sauce behind many successful investment stories. Now, these rules are a straightforward way to manage your money. It's actually a budgeting guideline where 60% of your income goes to necessities, 30% to discretionary spending, and 10% to savings or investments. The purpose of this rule is to ensure you're not only covering your essential expenses, but also setting aside money for enjoyment and future growth. It's a balanced approach that allows you to live comfortably now while preparing for the future. Many people, including successful entrepreneurs and financial experts, swear by this rule because it creates a structured yet flexible way to manage finances. All right, now that we've talked about compounding and introduced the 60, 30, 10 rule, next, let's see how these concepts work together in real life. Breaking down your income into manageable portions that not only cover your needs, but also help your money grow. Let's start with the essentials. The first 60% of your income goes towards necessities. These are the things you absolutely need to live, like rent, utilities, groceries, and transportation. By keeping this portion to 60%, you ensure that your basic needs are met without overspending. This way, you can manage your living expenses while still having enough left over for savings and fun. Think about it like this. Warren Buffett who has always emphasized living within your means, famously lives in a modest house he bought in 1958. By keeping his necessities manageable, he could invest more of his income, letting compounding work its magic. So, this is how compounding works. By ensuring your essential expenses are under control, you're setting the stage for financial growth. Next, let's talk about the fun part, discretionary spending. This is your fun money, for dining out, hobbies, entertainment, and other non-essential items. Allocating 30% of your income for discretionary spending allows you to enjoy your life without financial strain. This is how compounding works with the 60-30-10 rule. You're not depriving yourself of enjoyment. You're just being smart about it. For example, Bill Gates, even after becoming one of the richest people in the world, is known for his balanced lifestyle. He enjoys his hobbies and interests, but also knows the importance of saving and investing. By following a similar approach and allocating 30% of your income to things you love, you can maintain a balanced lifestyle. This method helps you stay motivated and avoid burnout, making it easier to stick to your financial plan. 
Now here's where the magic of compounding really kicks in. The 10% for savings and investments. This is the most crucial part of the 60-30-10 rule. By consistently investing 10% of your income, you can take full advantage of compounding to grow your wealth over time. This is how this rule works. Your regular investments start to earn returns, and then those returns earn returns, creating a snowball effect. Think of it like this. Many successful investors, including Warren Buffett, started with modest investments. By saving and investing consistently, they let compounding do the heavy lifting. So we've talked about the theory, but let's see how this all works in practice. Imagine you earn $3,000 per month. According to the 60-30-10 rule, you would invest 10% of your income. That means you're putting away $300 every month into an investment account. Now let's see how your investment grows over time with an average annual return of 6%. So this is the mechanism behind this rule over different time frames. 5 years, 10 years, and 20 years. First, let's consider a five-year period. You start with no initial investment, so you're beginning from scratch. Every month, you consistently invest $300 into an account that earns an average annual return of 6%. So how does this play out over five years? Every month, your $300 investment earns a bit of interest. By the end of the first year, you've invested $3,600. The interest earned on these monthly contributions starts to add up. By the end of five years, your total investment of $18,000 has grown to about $20,966 due to the interest earned on both your original contributions and the returns those contributions generate. This is how compounding works in a relatively short time frame, demonstrating steady growth. Next, let's extend this to 10 years. You continue to invest $300 every month into the same account with a 6% annual return. By the end of the second five-year period, your investment benefits even more from compounding. In this scenario, your consistent monthly investments, which total $36,000 over 10 years, have grown significantly. By the end of the decade, your investment has increased to approximately $41,905. This larger sum is due to the interest earning interest over a longer period. This is how your money compound over 10 years. Your money not only grows because of the monthly contributions, but also because the returns themselves are reinvested and continue to grow. Now let's look at a 20-year period. You keep up with your $300 monthly investments and the account continues to earn an average annual return of 6%. Over 20 years, the effect of compounding becomes even more impressive. In this long-term scenario, you've invested a total of $72,000. However, thanks to the power of compounding, your investment has grown to around $98,925. This is how compounding works with the 60-30-10 rule over two decades. Your investments and the returns they generate continue to grow exponentially. The longer the money is invested, the greater the compounding effect. Think about it like planting a tree. In the first few years, it grows steadily, but over time, it expands more rapidly, becoming taller and stronger. This is the magic of compounding. The longer you let your money work for you, the more substantial the growth. And think of how Warren Buffett started investing in his early years and let his investments compound over decades. He famously said, The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. This applies perfectly here. Starting to invest and letting compounding work its magic over the years can lead to significant growth. Now that we've explored how compounding works, let's cover some practical tips to help you implement this strategy effectively. These tips will ensure you stay on track and make the most out of your investments. First up, let's talk about automating your savings. This is a game changer. Set up automatic transfers from your main account to your investment accounts so that 10% of your income is saved without you having to think about it. This is how these rules work. By making saving automatic, you ensure that you're consistently putting money aside for your future. It takes the pressure off having to remember to save each month and makes it a seamless part of your financial routine. For example, Warren Buffett has always emphasized the importance of making saving a habit. By automating your savings, you're following in the footsteps of successful investors who prioritize their future. 
Next, it's important to regularly monitor and adjust your budget. Life is dynamic, and your financial situation can change. Maybe you get a raise, or perhaps your expenses shift. Regularly reviewing your budget helps you stay on track and ensures you're still adhering to the 60-30-10 rule. By being flexible and adjusting as needed, you maximize the benefits of your investments. Make it a point to check your budget at least once a month. See where your money is going and make any necessary adjustments. This proactive approach keeps you engaged with your finances and helps you avoid any surprises. Finally, the most crucial tip is to stay consistent. The key to maximizing the benefits of compounding is consistency. Stick to the 60-30-10 rule and keep investing regularly. By being consistent, you allow the power of compounding to work its magic over time. Think of it like maintaining a garden. You need to water the plants regularly for them to grow. The same goes for your investments. By regularly investing 10% of your income, you're nurturing your financial garden and setting yourself up for long-term growth. Even if the amount seems small at first, remember that compounding takes time to show its full effect. The longer you stay consistent, the greater the rewards. And that's all for today's video. By understanding how compounding works and implementing these rules, you can take control of your financial future. Through consistent, disciplined saving and investing, you can watch your wealth grow over time. Remember, the key is to start now, automate your savings, regularly monitor and adjust your budget, and stay consistent. Even small steps can lead to significant financial growth thanks to the power of compounding. The purpose of this video is to educate you on various aspects of investing and not to give you any specific investment advice. Investing involves risks and uncertainties, and you should always do your own research and consult with qualified professionals before making any financial decisions. However, past performance does not guarantee future results, and you should always consider the risk of investments before putting your money at stake. Now, if you found this video helpful, I highly recommend watching my next video, which is the perfect complement to this one. Do not hesitate to share this video. It may help someone. Subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts on today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.